gonna go for a nice, chill, sunrise morning run. Welcome guys to my favorite spot to run ever. It is 7.01 on Saturday morning, September the 7th. And I'm going to be running a nice chill, easy 7 miles today. Technically 6.5 with strides to get to 7. So this loop's perfect because it's already 6.5 miles long. It's in a really nice area, just a lot of woods. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the leaves are actually, some of them are starting to turn a little bit yellower. But yeah, I got this, got this easy run. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, show you the loop, and later today I'm gonna be hiking with the dog and that'll be my morning vlog video for you guys. As you can tell, I have a sweatshirt on right now. I'm obviously gonna take this off, but it's a little chilly. It's about 50 degrees this morning, which it was 80 yesterday. That fall weather's coming for us, although it's supposed to be 80s for like the next eight days so who the heck knows it's Ohio weather so you never really can tell until it just gets consistently cold but anyway let's get this sweatshirt ripped off and let's go Boston baby let's go beautiful sunrise and we're off the sky really is starting to become beautiful right now the sun's finally waking up it said the sunrise was supposed to be 659 but usually the beautiful sky is golden hour, which is about an hour after sunrise. I love this route and it's even better you get a little taste of the fall weather. The only noise is me talking, my footsteps, and the birds. I'm in my happy place. So I figure I can give you guys a little insight as to what I've been up to lately since my last video, which was that full week of training video. After making that video, it took a lot of time and energy. I definitely was feeling the burnout. And then I had my first race. You know, I had a good idea of what I could do. It didn't go so great. I had two bathroom stops in the middle of a 10K, which, you know, a six mile race, I feel like that shouldn't be happening. So I had to rethink a couple of things. It was definitely frustrating. Found another race two weeks later. I was able to run that and do pretty well. I set a PR in the 10K, 34.45. That gave me some positive momentum going into my next race, which was a 6K, back with my college team on a cross country course. And that was just an insane day. On the drive out, it said it was 98 degrees Fahrenheit. And by the time our race started, it was still 90. You know, I just gave it my best shot. I ended up PRing. Workouts have been going really well. And so based on all that my coach thinks I'm about 113 shape and in two weeks I get to prove it things are on the upswing for me right now as far as training for a sub 70 goes so I'm excited to race and I'm really happy with where the training's at right now but yeah I mentioned I'm running a half marathon in two weeks as the Toledo mini marathon it's gonna be fast and who knows maybe I'll even win it but yeah little life update through mile one back to the impressive scenery of Ohio You can even see the lake out there. Runs out in the country like this, unbothered, are the types of things I took for granted when I ran in college because this was a bit basically it, just running in the country. I totally took it for granted. Now I live in the city, everything's busy, it's concrete, it's not peaceful. This is a nice refreshment. I should start doing this more often. Just start doing my weekends at the sunrise. It's this weather. And just these vibes have me thinking of cross country season. Did any of you guys run cross country in high school or college or middle school, I guess? Are any of you running? Like, did your season just start? Comment below. I hope this is motivating you guys to get out the door and run. Fall is the most 
amazing time to be out and doing it. And I hope you guys are having good trading plans. I know a lot of people that are subscribed are trading for some fall races. I hope that's going well for you. Let me know how your training's going down below in the comments. I'm interested to hear. What are your goals? What races are you guys running? Let's start a conversation. This section of trees right now is giving off that subtle aroma of that fall leaf smell. And I'm here for it. I know I told you guys I was running at Chippewa Lake. You're probably asking yourselves, where's the lake in this whole video? Well, we're here. Okay, so now I got the six and a half easy miles done. Now I'm just on the trail here. I'm gonna get these strides done. So I got four by 30 second stride, mile pace. So 430 to five flat pace, somewhere in that range. Feeling good, don't push. And that'll end the run for today. Sorry if I'm looking at this screen down here. It's this new camera. I should be looking at you guys up here. So I apologize for doing that probably the entire video. All right, you guys. So seven miles complete for the day. I did the strides. And honestly, I'm glad that I have strides built into my program because those felt pretty bad. Legs just didn't want to turn over. Okay, I'm looking at the splits now and it makes me feel a lot better. My watch was telling me I was running 530 pace because I'm supposed to run 530 pace for multiple miles tomorrow in my long run well it's telling me on strava which by the way if you guys don't follow me on strava you should it's alan d i think actually i can check i'm on it right now yeah it just says alan d so follow me on strava i'll put the tag down here back to the strides i was basically running 420 to 430 mile pace which makes me feel way better about it than <laughs> i was before yeah 7.07 .07 miles 732 pace keeping it nice and light and that's the run for this morning. Alright you guys, we're gonna go for our our afternoon walk. It's been some time, but we're gonna go to a nearby trail and get in some miles for the puppy and do a little hiking. So let's go. I am really hoping that the hills in this park are enough to tire him out because boy has he been having a ton of energy. Just waiting on Marco to be done peeing. Anyway, yeah, we're here at the park and Marco and I are starting our walk. He's pulling me like a maniac, so Hopefully that stops. That's kind of the whole point of bringing him out here. It's super hilly. Also, another thing I should mention is that this September, I'm a part of a 30 mile, 30 day dog walk challenge. I have to walk Marco a mile every day this month to raise money for cancer. Um, it's a fundraiser put on through Facebook by the American Cancer Society where you just walk your dog a mile a day. I think so far I'm up to almost 10 miles and it's the 7th. Bubba, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, he's not one for the camera. He just do his own thing. So we just got back from our walk. Marco is laying over here and he is very tired. So we're just chilling on the floor. You have water over there. You know that? Did you have fun on your walk? Anyway, did the walk. We did 1.73 miles. 
and uh, I don't know, he's got like a switch. It's like when we're outside walking, he just has limitless energy. And now we're inside and he's panting. He was totally normal in the car, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But it is a hilly route. We had 230 feet of elevation gain in less than two miles. So 1.73 miles. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. There we go. 1.73 miles. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Strava, you should. It's Alan D. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different this time, just kind of a casual vlog today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that sunrise run. I know I did. It was awesome. If you guys enjoyed that, give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody would enjoy this type of content, or even just this video, the scenery and the sunrise and all that stuff, be sure to give it a share. It definitely helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new, consider subscribing because that also helps out the channel. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.